Now it came to pass in the days of Amraphel, the king of Shinar, Arioch, the king of Elasar, Chedor Leomer, the king of Elam, and Tidal, the king of Goyim, that they waged war with Bera, the king of Sodom, and with Bersha, the king of Gomorrah, Shiniav, the king of Admai, and Shemabar, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, which is Zoar. All these joined in the valley of Sidim, which is the Dead Sea. For twelve years they served Chedor Leomer, and for thirteen years they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Chedor Leomer came, and the kings who were with him, and they smote the Rephaim, and Ashtaroth, Kameim, and the Zuzim, and Ham, and the Emim, and Shaveh, Kiriathim, and the Horites, and their mountain Seir, until the plain of Paran, which is alongside the desert. And they returned and came to En, Mishpat, which is Kadesh, and they smote the entire field of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites who dwelt in Hazazon Tamar. The king of Sodom and the king of Gomorrah and the king of Adma and the king of Zeboim and the king of Bela, which is Zoar, came forth and they engaged them in battle in the valley of Sidim with Chedor, Laomer, the king of Elam, and Tidal, the king of Goyim, and Amraphel, the king of Shinar, and Arioch, the king of Alisar, four kings against the five. Now the valley of Sidim was composed of many clay pits, and the king of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, and they fell there, and the survivors fled to a mountain. And they took all the possessions of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their food, and they departed. And they took Lot in his possessions, the son of Abram's brother. And they departed, and he was living in Sodom. And the fugitive came, and he told Abram, the Hebrew, and he was living in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, the brother of Eshcol and the brother of Anner, who were Abram's confederates. And Abram heard that his kinsmen had been taken captive, and he armed his trained men, those born in his house, 318. And he pursued them until Dan. And he divided himself against them at night. He and his servants and smote them and pursued them until Hobah, which is to the left of Damascus. And he resorted all the possessions. He restored all the possessions. And also Lot, his brother, and his possessions he restored. And also the women and the people. And the king of Sodom came out toward him after his return from smiting Chedor Leomer and the kings who were with him to the valley of Shaveh, which is the valley of the king. And Melchizedek, the king of Salem, brought out bread and wine, and he was a priest to the Most High God. And he blessed him, and he said, Blessed be Abram to the Most High God who possesses heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High God who has delivered your adversaries into your hand. And he gave them a tithe from all. The king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the souls and the possessions. Take for yourself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I raise my hand to the Lord, the Most High God, who possesses heaven and earth. Neither from a thread to a shoe strap, nor will I take from whatever is yours that you should not say, I have made Abram wealthy. Exclusive of, exclusive of what the lads ate and the share of the man who went with me, Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre, they shall take their share. <laughs>